can just include this in if the, the episode runs short. You just include it. Oh. They want to hear me grumble. I don't think they do. They want to hear me grumble. I don't think they do. Let's get ready to grumble. What's that from? Let's get ready to rumble is just like a thing that they say in basketball. Basketball? Wait, is yeah. it a thing they say in basketball? Yes. Or is that a thing they say in movies? No, they say that in basketball. No, th what? What? Yeah. What? That's bullshit. No, it's actually not. No, you're bullshitting I'm me right now. I'm literally not Mal, bullshitting you. Mal, I can look over and see your bullshitting eyes. I mean, you can look at me and see my eyes, but you will see within them. Two piles the of poop. light of truth. Wow, damn. Mal, Mal what if I told you about, about touching your... Uh, Touching your pop filter. That thing is literally toxic. And that it's going to kill it's, me. It's toxic rusting metal. <laughs> like It is. It sure is rusting from all of our saliva. <clears throat> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one they happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. <laughs> oh, look at her blush. <laughs> so you two have known each other for most of your lives. Ah, uh, this is a difficult, difficult relationship to not ship. I'm not going to lie. I'm shipping it. Though, it is, is the thing. This is a sturdy, seaworthy vessel. <laughs> <laughs> I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? <laughs> no reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. Uh, an item? What kind of item? Oh my god, look at- we got this like, <gasps> what, what? And we got these like things going over here, <laughs> dog ears twitching. <laughs> a cop, I'll say. Oh, I would Yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. <laughs> so you two didn't go to the same high school? No? Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends. Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning. Brr. But around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting though. He was my mom's dad. But after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. But yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey, Jill, what's this? Bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. On it. Two bloom lights for the girls. Man, just so strong. Three, four, one. So strong? One, two, fuck. What's one, strong? two, three. I'm sorry, Tony, what was what was strong? All aged on the rocks and mixed. Yeah. Wait, that was it, right? Yep. All right, yeah. All right, that's one, two, three, four, uh, five. Uh, what was whatever? Six. I can't. Mal, I'm counting right now. You're fucking up also. One, two, three. I'm not fucking up. Yeah, you fucked up. I, I'm not fucking up, Mal. Why are you making it big? Uh, stupid made of bullshit. So <laughs> difficult. One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Perfect. Good job. Here. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's... <sighs> Dimming the light. Ha! Huh. I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and she must be still tired. From the whole bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nano machine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. Oh. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. 
For the three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who are identified as former members? It's unfair, you know. Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think. But you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. Oh. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. <sighs> How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. <laughs> That's weird advice, Jill. <gasps> Who knows? Maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. That's better advice, Jill. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. There you go, Jill. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, say. Let's get hamburgers and go home. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Those two are so cute. Yeah, when is it going to get gay? I mean, it's gotten gay quite a few times already. I mean, already. yeah, but In it fact, needs to get, like... It's gotten gay a number of times. It needs, it needs to be explicitly gay it has with been ex that relationship. Oh, okay, all right. So you're... you're okay. I'm all being right. specific. All right, man. Feeling bad. Now, I think they're going to leave that one open. No. And I think that they were aware of the intense shipping that would happen. I... So, so they should fulfill all of uh, all of it. All of my desires. Yes. Me, Mel. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim, welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. I don't know why I, I, I started to put a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> A little bit Irish in there. <laughs> what can I get you? We'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Let's give a sunshine cloud to Kim. Have we made I this one? I think she tried to kill herself and our boss saved her. Which is good. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that as though that would be yeah. like a controversial statement. Mm -hmm. uh, bitter, girly, and soft. Interesting. That's a, that's a lot of... Yeah, all right. It looks like an orange. It does. It's pretty. Here. Oh, oh, sorry. I would, mix! Mix! Look at my little I finger. Said here. Look at my little look like Look it! Look at it go. Tony! It's it's like so twitchy. No! Imagine that you saw a hand just floating about <laughs> and its finger was twitching like that. Tony. Thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep. I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it, only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts. You know, even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dread the arrival of every morning. I even almost... Died. <sighs> what I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel... free. Free. Oh, man. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the Augmented Eye. But I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in... Well, never. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you going to do? And all that. <sighs> but I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something. Big and bubbly, huh? Alright, let's go find a bubbly. 
Is that bad touch? Because I think bubbly, right? Yeah. Ah, perfect. A big old beer. Just a big beer. Classic. Four. No, it's already big. Yeah, we can make it bigger. <sighs> two. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, really? Yeah, eight. eight. Jesus Christ, I can't do this anymore. Three, four. Dude, should, should I control? Should I be on the controls there, I'll motor fucking, motoroni? Fucking maybe. Here. If detergent commercials are to be to believe, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill things inside of you. I gotta ask, though. How did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. <sighs> Too much pressure from my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly all I wanted was freedom, a little pause, to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Hey, to be fair, it was largely fine until not that long ago. Yeah. Kinda. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, um, g g give me a, or uh, something. Something? S sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. All right. Just for something, literally. Anything, Tony. Anything. All right. So something, what... anything. So Mal, something I appreciate about you is that you'll you'll talk to cover me blowing my nose. Uh huh. I feel like I feel like Chaz and Fiona are still working on that. Ah uh, yes. All right. What what are we going for? Uh, P. Uh, sure. Pile driver. Wait, is there something with something? Pile driver, really? Sure. She just wanted something. <sighs> All right. I'm sure there was some kind of clue for this, but. We're not gonna worry about it. She uh, she just wanted something. Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's not that way, and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks. I really need the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Wow. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know! I came for you! For me? Well, why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. What? D Dana, that's weird. <laughs> All night long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket. I don't promise there'll be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. God, I don't like Dorothy just being so fucking excited She's looking over so there. She's so pleased. It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human... Um, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Ugh. Not gonna lie. Seems a little repulsive. It's a little weird. Dorothy is... 
built and modeled like a child. I yeah. Still don't like that. Yep. I continue to not like yeah, that. Yeah, same. Uh, all right. Electricity bill, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we can spend $600. Which is luckily about how much a Mega Christmas tree costs. Is it? Uh... No. Yeah, sure. Tony! <laughs> yeah, it's fine. What if we don't make any money? Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. It'll be sent out. I hope it's at the end of day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, no, that could come back to bite me in the ass. Oh, oh let's see here. Uh, who was that Leelum? A very good friend. Well, okay, I guess that was nice. Yeah. All right, let's go read some miscellaneous internet chat. I can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous Orcs. graphics, innovative and addictive battle system, fun dating minigames, cute girls, that fucking music. <laughs> Mal, can you say Is that one more time? Is this the goat? I want that line one more time. That fucking music. Well, that's good. Thank you. Uh, Dino, do you like the goat girl? <laughs> I'm going to marry a goat. It's an all right game. Eight out of ten at most. Shit game. No, it's a shitty game for idiot waifu bots like you. I wish this waifu equals bad game meme would die. It's a stupid game pandering to idiots. What's there to discuss? Are we being raided by normies? M my normies! Fuck off. Fun things are fun. You're not allowed to have fun with video games. That's true. It's true. Uh, it and true. we read that We read that, that one. Oh man, I like Hiromiki's blog for some reason. It's it seems like a special whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, Leelum receiving mysterious messages by Lana Smithy. Oh, I guess this is one of her last articles. Mm -hmm. uh, Halloween was back in October, but this one of her last articles. This is, isn't this who we were just talking to in no, the bar? No, Kim. Oh, Lana Smithy is like an asshole. Have we met Lana? No, but we've heard things. Oh, well, that's just a rumor. Then I, I believe rumors. Wow! Wow! Yeah. I don't believe any rumors. You've never believed anything false, ever. I've never believed in anything. Halloween was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Reports say that Leelum across the city have been receiving strange transmissions with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, as most of the Leelum can't remember exactly what they had heard, but the most mysterious thing of all is perhaps the fact that the Leelum could not record any of these messages while they were being broadcast. It was almost as if something had blocked the Leelum from doing so. <laughs> I love the little hand. Oh but while my. we have nothing but an anecdotal proof... What is it with proof, you and hands? I don't want to answer that question. While we have nothing but anecdotal proof, even among our own Leelum, the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. It's Kiramiki, the biggest pop idol in history. The world at large is still coming to terms with the idea of the Leelum being so quickly integrated into our society. Some say they can't be treated as human because they are mortal and as such cannot really understand what it's like to be alive. But most of the Kiramiki fandom would disagree. anti Leelum people are insane. To me, Miki knows more about life than I do and I'm older than this damn city. Richard Show 55 told the Augmented Eye during a fan gathering. I'm with Richard, added Nacho6. I may be a dog, but I'm utterly fascinated with the way she writes about things at her blog. She's impressed by everything, and nobody really knows what life's about anyway. I still can't get over how much I like that there are just dogs around. They're, like, there are just dogs around. Like, it's, like, just dogs. They're alive, too. Well, I mean, sentient. I mean, they can speak. Yeah. Uh, uh, Quincy studies the possibility of allowing imports. Glitch City is one of the few places on Earth that's strictly self-sufficient, with an import rate of only 0.8%. However, that might change due to the recent shortages across the city. Prime Minister Quincy revealed this morning that the government plans to have a more relaxed policy for importers. We won't lift the currency control, but we can provide them foreign currency at a low fixed rate. That way we can secure essential items at affordable prices, Quincy told AE. Some experts say that private companies are no longer working at full capacity, which is unsurprising news given that the Quincy government has seized most of them, resulting in the shortage crisis in the first place. Also, did you notice that without any explanation at all, it changed from Vice President Quincy to Prime Minister Quincy? Like, like where? Like a couple articles ago. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's some good passive storytelling mm -hmm. right there. Like, we don't need, like, a big, whoa! So he decided to not steal all the city's funds? Good. I guess. I feel like we should be shopping. No, we need to save money! <sighs> I guess so. Go, go to work. I don't know, let's no, save we first. Already oh, 
saving. I guess that's good. It's in in fact, it's critical. I do like to save. Uh, oh, but but actually, there is just like one thing I wanted to get real no. fast. No, uh, Tony. Yeah, I, Tony. Tony, right. we have five hundred dollars. All right, thanks for watching the video, everybody. We'll see you next oh time. Oh my god! If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button or go check out our Patreon. It's in the end card or in the video description. And if you've already done either of those things, keep thank on keeping you on. so fucking much. All right, bye. Bye. How are we gonna pay our electrical bill? Ugh, by murdering you and selling your corpse. Oh my! <laughs> 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 <Wow>. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs>